What's going on guys? This is our second video of AutoCAD 2016 Essential Training. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can open files, manage files, save them, create a backup copy and how you can recover your destroyed files. So I'm going to go and open a few files by clicking this icon and I'll select um, Map, Room and Architect. You can, multiple, uh, you can select multiple files by holding control and if you click open it will open these files so click open so now as you can see that my files are opening and these tabs every tab contains every single file so I'll go and just go to array 2 and now what I'm going to do to save this file as you can see that if I go to my eraser tool and click on it and select this line and press spacebar it will erase this line and there's a small asterisk sign appear next to my array too which is basically telling me that the file has been changed so if I go ahead and save my file and as you can see now the asterisk sign has gone so every time you make changes to your file you can see by looking at here that your file has been changed or not you can save files by many ways in AutoCAD 2016 by clicking on this icon button you can press ctrl s or you can type QS from your keyboard. I think typing QS is pretty faster for me, so I use it a lot. So now AutoCAD save these files automatically after some times. You can change that time by going to option, go to this open and save. Here you can see that automatic save is set to five minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and change this to, now let's leave it five minutes. And down here you can create a backup copy as well. So it's very useful when let's say your system shut down and you lost your file so the backup copy will always be there so make sure to click on it and make sure it's checked you can access option by just typing op from your keyboard and press spacebar it'll open the options let's talk about how to recover file there's a command for this if you type recover from your keyboard it will open this dialog box and i go and select this room and I go open so it's gonna take a time and just analyze the file and it says now that auto audit detect no errors in recovery database so there was no error basically in this file so that's how you can recover files sometimes files give you error but you can always use this command recover to recover your files if you're signing to Autodesk A360 then your file will always be uploaded to cloud so if you're not signed in, make sure you keep a backup copy of your every file. If you've got a big project and try to save it on two places, so in case you lose one place, like there's an error in the file, so you can always go and open the other file. So now I will discuss units. The most important thing you want to do before you start working on a project is to select the unit. So how you do that? If you type unit from the keyboard and press enter, You get this dialog box. So as you can see that this file is set to decimal. But I'm going to go and change this to architect. So architect system is basically foot to inch system. I'm going to go and change this precision to 1 by 8. So basically what it is is 18 inches. You can type 1 slash 8 which will consider as 1 foot and 8 inches. You have different options here. Let's say I'll use the decimal system, which use the metric system. We have engineering units here. If you're working on an engineering project, you can change that to engineering. Engineering units basically based on feet and unit as well. So we have a fractional units. They are inches only. And these are used by cabinet makers. So at last we have scientific units. I'm not gonna go into the scientific unit. So in this course we will be working in architectural units. So let's go ahead and select that and click OK. Now we have a look how we measure angles. So I go and type unit and go to units again. And down here we have a direction button. So if I click on that, so east is zero degrees. So that means from going left to right is de zero degrees from here to top is 90 degrees that's how the AutoCAD direction control works so I just go and keep east which is zero degrees click OK press click OK 
if you want to quickly change between units, down here on the status bar we have this architect decimal scientific. So you can change your units from here as well. But I keep it as architecture. And there's another thing I want to mention that I don't recommend changing your units from here because you can't control your position, you can't control your direction. So basically it's just a quick way to control your units but I don't recommend you to use them. You can even turn them off by going here and click this button so it will go away but I'll keep it on. So in the next video we'll talk about navigating drones. Alright guys thanks for watching. If you like this course please give this video a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to our channel.